When engaging in weight control, fitness, fat burning types of exercise, a person is expected to attain about 160% of their maximum heart rate. For 20 year olds, this rate is reported to be approximately 120 beats per minute. A simple random sample of 220 year olds was taken and 160% of their maximum heart rate was found to be 112 beats per minute with a standard deviation of 45 beats per minute. Researchers wonder if this is evidence to conclude that the expected level is actually lower than 120 beats per minute. Construct the 95% confidence interval using interval notation with decimals rounded to the hundredth place. What is the point estimate of this confidence interval? What is the margin of error of this confidence interval? Is there evidence to conclude that the 160% level is actually lower than 120 beats per minute? In answering part one of this question and constructing a 95% confidence interval, we need to determine what type of interval we are looking for. And going to the stat test menu and then scrolling down to the interval, so that the number seven is at the top of the list, we see that there are six different types of intervals one can find using the TI-83. Letters A and B refer to confidence intervals about a population proportion or percentage. Choices nine and zero refer to confidence intervals in which we are talking about two different populations, hence the number two and seven and eight refer to confidence intervals about a population average, which is the case we are referring to here. Of the two different choices, the Z interval and T interval, the determining factor is the sample size. For sample sizes of more than 30, we can use number seven, the Z interval. For sample sizes of 30 or less, or when the data is given in a list of data, we would use a T interval. So therefore, we choose number seven. The input is in the form of summary statistics as opposed to a data list. Under the input, we are asked for sigma, the population standard deviation. However, since the sample is more than 30, the standard deviation of the sample can be used as a very accurate approximation of the population standard deviation. Therefore, we input the number 45. For the simple random sample of 220 year olds, 160% of their maximum heart rate was found to be 112 beats per minute, and the sample size was given to be 200. We're asked to construct the 95% confidence interval, so the C level can be input as 95 or 0.95. Either of these two inputs will be accepted by the calculator. Finally, going to calculate and hitting enter, we have the Z interval, which is the 95% confidence interval estimate of the population average. We see X bar is equal to 112 and X bar is the point estimate, which was the average in our simple random sample of 220 year olds. The interval notation with the decimals rounded to the hundredth place is exactly the interval that is given by the TI-83. The margin of error can be calculated by simply subtracting 112, which is in the middle of this interval, from the upper bound of this interval, which is 118.24, giving 6.24. Had we subtracted 105.76 from 112, we would also arrive at the margin of error of 6.24. Writing this confidence interval using margin of error notation, we would have 112 plus or minus 6.24, or the point estimate plus or minus the margin of error. Finally, in answering the question, is there evidence to conclude the reported 160% level is actually lower than 120 beats per minute, we see that at a 95% level of confidence, our interval does not include 120. The interval estimate of the average is lower than 120. Therefore, there would be evidence to conclude that the reported 160% level is actually lower than 120 beats per minute.